I just flown this uh, little fella for a few places uh, in town, a more spacious area, which is the river here. And I got a few conclusions and review of this little fella. But first, let's take a look at some footages. you fly the drone in a more condensed area of a city or a town places which has a lot of buildings traffic and things like that the aircraft disconnects with the controller easily like it doesn't even reach until one kilometer and it just disconnects and then it just flies home so Second point, you need to have an OTC to test an OTC to micro USB, especially if you're using an Android phone. I haven't tested with an iPhone yet, but if you're using an Android phone, you definitely need this because it just disconnects easily again. Uh, this gives a more stable connection between your screen and the remote controller. And uh, you don't have to worry about that because that's secured. So the only thing that can disconnect is the aircraft and the remote controller. So that's the second thing. Third point, um, after flying a few rounds, you need to fly sport mode. It's too slow, it's like a turtle and you only have like max 10 to 15 minutes to fly before the battery runs out. So you need to fly sport mode because if not, you're not able to cover as much area as you want to. So by then sport mode, you need to know how to control the speed, if not you will catch the, the footage of the propeller.
here's my conclusion. If you own this, it works best if you are a traveller. And not just a town traveller, but um, a scenery traveller, things like that. Because you get better coverage, you get better connection, you get better footage. Right? If you do not really travel and you're just a city folk having a hobby, you might be frustrated at the amount of coverage that you can cover, the footages, the disconnectivity and things like that and it's, and it's just a white elephant sitting there. So here's my conclusion of the DJI But Other than that, I love the controls, it's very easy to control. They do not have too many buttons, that's what I like. Um, and the footages are okay. Of course, it's not 4K, but it's okay. Get it? Yeah, so here's what a few things you should consider if you want to get a DJI Spark in the future. See you guys.